Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, Toriopia video, original link to the video, top of the description. Hope you guys are doing well. My name's Connor. If you're new, do another European travel video, shall we? 25 best places to visit in Europe. That's beautiful. Where's that? Hungary, Austria. It has kind of the oniony building, which reminds me of like Ottoman. I don't know. Let's go. No Schwarzstein. That that's what I have is the the the, the thing, right? Although it is the world's second smallest continent, Europe welcomes more than half of all the tourists worldwide. In fact, seven of the 10 most visited countries in the world are European nations. It's easy to see why. A well-preserved cultural heritage, rich history, safety, and efficient infrastructure makes visiting Europe a breeze. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Europe. Pick Greece. I would really love to visit uh, Central Europe, like um, Czech Republic, or also Italy would be really cool. I haven't been there. Number 25, Vienna. As the former seat of the Habsburg Empire, Vienna is awash with impressive imperial buildings and palaces, which so comprehensively convey the wealth and power of its former monarchs. Now the capital of Austria, the city is a delight to get lost in. Nicknamed the City of Music, the names of its famous residents roll off the tongue, with Mozart, Beethoven, and Schubert among those who once graced its streets. I can think of one more really famous guy from Austria. <laughs> it's beautiful though, voice crack, jeez. Number 24, Stonehenge. I've been. You have to marvel at the determination of prehistoric man when you look at Stonehenge. Yes, this is what some people, like, it's like, uh, it's just, like, underwhelming. It's like, well, if you don't know why it's a, it's a very significant site, then you're not going to be as impressed. That's... Construction started about 3000 BC on what was originally burial grounds. Huge monoliths weighing 25 tons were dragged 150 miles to the site a few hundred years later. It's not known exactly how many humongous rocks were moved to a field near Amesbury, but there are 13 standing today. It's also not known why Stonehenge was built, but many believe this great English landmark is associated with early astrology. I feel like it's going to be controversial Number to see. Number 23, like, Matterhorn. Five. Egypt may have its pyramids, but Italy and Switzerland have a nature-made pyramid of their own. The Is that Matterhorn. on the border? At 14,692 feet high, this famous mountain is one of the highest in Europe. Oh my God. The mountain has four faces. This, uh, j imagine just walking in this, like, it, it looks like Lord of the Rings set. Famous mountain. And then Jesus Christ, look at that. Is one of the highest in Europe. The mountain has four faces, each equally rugged. The legendary mountain has been popular with climbers since the first ascent in 1865. During the summer... Guys, I know a lot of, like, there are a lot of giant mountains, but I feel like the, the cooler mountains to me are ones that are, like, clearly higher, that, like, have peaks that are really distinct and higher than a lot of things around them. And that, that's why this one looks just extra cool to me. Popular with climbers even though it might not be the highest. In 1865. During the summer, 150 people a day tried to climb it. 
Couch potatoes may be just as happy to stay below and gaze in awe at the summit playing hide and seek with the clouds. Uh. Number 22, Plitvica Lakes. The Croatia? Plitvica Lakes are so pretty, officials turned them into a national park. This Croatia? Located in central Croatia, Plitvica Lakes consists of 16 lakes that attract more than a million visitors a year. The lakes are surrounded by lush forests and connected by waterfalls cascading down from one lake to That's another. Awesome. The lakes are divided into two sections, lower and upper, because of the difference in elevation. The best way to see the lakes is walking. On the route, you might even see some wildlife. I wonder if it's like that all the time or if like you have to go in the in the spring during snow melt. Do you guys get uh, a lot of any snow in Croatia? I know it's pretty mountainous, right? Number 21, Budapest. Budapest was already Hungary. an established city when the Hungarians took over in the 9th century. Today, Budapest is the country's capital and largest city. In between these two events, That's Budapest a crazy building. I freaking love this. was ruled by the and largest city. In between It's one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen. These two events, Budapest was ruled by the Mongols and the Ottomans, among others. Considered one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, Budapest is home to the Museum of Fine Arts with its collection of more than 100,000 works. All you European cities have these. Uh, American cities suck. To the Museum of Fine Arts with its collection of more than 100,000 works. Be sure to visit the centrally located Old Town with its many museums, churches, palaces, and parliament buildings. Love the architecture. <laughs> Guys, it was one of the biggest things in this entire YouTube reacting journey. The biggest things that I've realized, and there's no, is just how much better looking your cities and towns look like, and just how much more walkable and beautiful it is for pedestrians. You don't have to cross a, almost die crossing any street in order to see a place and then go to it. And, uh... yeah. What is that building? Number 20, Lisbon. The Portuguese capital of Lisbon lies on the Tagus River along the Atlantic coast. It is this location that encouraged explorers to sail far and wide around the world in the 15th, 16th, and 17th centuries. One of the things you'll want to see is the Belém Tower, a 16th century fortress on the Tagus's north bank. If you're Belém's looking for good tower? views of old Lisbon, head to St. George Castle that was built on a hilltop by the Moors. Number 19, Gullfoss. You probably don't know too many people who've been Scotland? to Iceland, Iceland, but it may be worth a trip there to visit the spectacular Gullfoss waterfalls. Located in southern Iceland, Gullfoss is one of Iceland's top tourist attractions. At times, it almost appears glacier-like, appropriate perhaps since it is fed by a glacier. The waterfalls begin just after the Olfusa River makes a perpendicular turn and then cascades down a three-step staircase into a canyon that is 115 feet deep. 
I was gonna say, can you like whitewater raft on that? But never mind, I think you'd die. I would be really cool to travel to. Saw it. Wow. A volcano the eruption recently, right? Wow, it looks even better with Number snow. Number 18. Athens. Parthenon? Athens, Pantheon? a city that's been inhabited since the 5th century BC, gave the world the concept of democracy and is the birthplace of Western civilization. H how can these skinny little tops of these things hold up all that weight the concept of democracy all that see and is the birthplace of western civilization many of the city's major Lasts landmarks for so can be found long. in the old city particularly around the acropolis the list includes the temple of zeus the theater of dionysus where sophocles works were performed and the parthenon which sits atop the acropolis BC. Wait a second. Shoot, wh wh where'd my thing go? The works were performed. This, so you're telling me that this is, that this is from 500 BC, that this stuff was, was built? and the Parthenon, which sits atop the Acropolis. That's freaking crazy. When you're hungry for breathtaking scenery, feast your eyes on Kotor Bay in southwestern Montenegro. This bay off the Adriatic is just downright picturesque, hemmed in by mountains with quaint villages sandwiched between the cliffs and the gorgeous blue water. Several well-preserved medieval towns ring the bay. People make pilgrimages here, not only to take in the scenery, but also to visit the many Orthodox and Christian churches spread among the villages. Number 16, Moscow. For nearly 900 years, Moscow has been the capital of Russia. As such, this old city has plenty Beautiful. to offer visitors. Let's start with the 15th century Red Square, since many of the city's key attractions surround it. A top landmark is the Kremlin, a former fortress that houses museums and the president of the Russian Federation. You gotta give to Russian architecture and Soviet architecture. It's super, super, super like, 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 boom, like, uh, powerful, like, like, sturdy and strong without looking too basic. Like, here, like, they just look like they could survive, like, 50 tornadoes. A former fortress that houses museums and the president of the Russian Federation. Lenin's tomb sits in the middle of the square, while the iconic onion domed St. Basil's Cathedral, Brutalist. now a museum, is on one side. I think Brutalist is the right term. Such a unique building, recognizable very easily. Number 17. 
Number 15. Venice. Venice is for romantics who love gliding through the Grand Canal with a gondolier singing Italian love songs. This is, after all, the city that sent Marco Polo off on his journey to China. Start your exploration of Venice at San Marco Square, the city's most famous square. Here you'll find the Doge's Palace, the seat of Venetian government, and St. Mark's Basilica, the main church in Venice with stunning views from the tower. Venice also is square. famous for its bridges along the canals. Guys, don't get, like maybe there could be some parts of American cities where you have a nice open square of people walking. It's just not a lot, and it's just a main thing I, I notice about European cities that I absolutely love and envy a bit a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Number fourteen, Monte Carlo. If you're into glitz and glamour, look no further than Monte Carlo, the major city in the tiny principality of Monaco. Monaco. I gotta pee quick, one sec. Okay, we're back. I washed my hands. Has always been known for these qualities, which reached new heights when its prince Monica, made Grace right? Kelly his princess. Sitting on the shores of the Mediterranean, Monte Carlo is known for fast car races and its elite casino. Take a walk along the harbor to see yachts that belong to the rich and famous. Number 13, Alhambra. The Alhambra is one of the great wonders of Spain. It it's a gorgeous palace fortress complex that go. can be found in Granada in southern Spain's Andalusian province. This imposing complex started out as a small fortress in the late 9th century, though it was built on the ruins of a former Roman fortress. Taken over by Christian rulers, it is the site where Columbus got the go-ahead to discover the new world. The blending of architectural styles over the centuries Ferdinand is and stunning. Isabella? You'll find great art and grand gardens throughout. Number 12, Florence. If it weren't for Florence, the Renaissance might not have happened. Florence is generally credited with bringing Europe out of the Dark Ages with great artists like Michelangelo. You can see their works at the Uffizi Gallery or the Academia that displays the original David. Eat a gelato while strolling the Ponte Vecchio that bridges the Arno River. Ogle the over-the-top riches of the Medici family at the Pitti Palace. Marvel at the early engineering that created the Great Duomo. This is Florence at its best. Guys, I'd obviously love to hear your uh, opinions if you believe, if you agree with these or not if, if you think something else should have been left in or if you're from one of these places but i just love to see comments that's beautiful i love that oh london next sort of you know open to the air museum looking thing Number 11, London. English
British history buffs will have a field day in London. This city on the Thames is chock full of palaces, from Buckingham Palace to Hampton Court Palace. More a prison than a palace, the Tower of London is home to the Crown Jewels. And from Knightsbridge, don't forget to visit the magnificent food halls at Harrods, to Carnaby Street, the shopping is awesome. You can get around London quickly and efficiently by riding the famous Tube. The Tube. Number 10, Neuschwanstein Castle. Fairy Tale Castle is a phrase that aptly describes Neuschwanstein Castle in the Bavarian yeah. Alps. The 19th century Romanesque revival castle looks like it just stepped out of a fairy tale. Some say Neuschwanstein in the provided right. the inspiration for the castle in Disney's Sleeping Beauty. The castle was built as a retreat for King Ludwig II of Bavaria, who viewed it as a romanticization of the Middle Ages. The castle was built of brick, then... Fascinating, it's because it seems like a lot of uh, building creations by the super wealthy in uh, Britain in the 1800s also was kind of marveling and uh, at, at medieval stuff. So there seemed to be a really big medieval craze uh, in the 1800s. Covered in rock, including the white limestone that is visible from afar. Romanticization. Romanticization? Romanticization. Number nine, Amsterdam. Amsterdam is a pleasant city marked by this meandering canals Land. lined with tall, narrow row houses. It is the city where Anne Frank kept her most famous diary, so visiting the house where she wrote it is a must. This Venice of the North also is a city of great art, beginning with the Rijksmuseum, home to great European masterpieces, Rembrandt's house. All right, I said this is this isn't Disneyland because of the thing I always say when I was in Amsterdam. I remember dry riding my bike like an idiot and then someone behind me in a Dutch accent saying this isn't Disneyland somehow knew I was American without even go museum take a break from sightseeing to tour and sample Holland's beer at the Heineken brewery Number eight, Prague. Prague, oh, with a long history of war and destruction, of is considered one of the best places to visit in Europe. Despite devastation caused by World War II, Prague has a very nice old town that is worth more than a few hours of your time. Prague has many pedestrian zones, Deep which bridge. make walking a delight as you wander by Prague Castle, through the Jewish Quarter, and over the Charles Bridge. Wenceslas Square, situated in the new town, hums with a vibrant nightlife and entertainment air. I'm not a huge nightlife person. I would love the history all around. Whoa. Cool building. Number seven, Istanbul. Istanbul. Istanbul may be on the outer fringes of Europe, but Whoa, well which one's the Hagia Sophia? This one? The Worth a visit when you're traveling abroad. Turkey's biggest city is a fascinating place. Those old filled aqueducts? with rich history, colorful markets, and mosques. 
top attractions include the Bosporus that separates Europe and Asia, the ecumenical Hagia Sophia that's been a Greek Orthodox Christian basilica, then an imperial mosque, and now a museum, and the 15th century Topkapi Palace, also a museum today. Get in a little shopping at the Grand Bazaar that's been in operation since 1461. I'd love to visit Istanbul for the same reason I'd love to visit Prague. Um, just main points where a lot of historical stuff happened uh, in the area. Maybe more so in uh, Istanbul. Number six, Geranger Fjord. When the summer Norway? heat of Europe gets you down, head to Norway with its pretty cool scenery. So Geranger Fjord is a 9.3 mile long fjord with crystal blue waters fed by picturesque cascading waterfalls. Take a sightseeing trip on a car ferry through the fjord, passing villages on the shores. You guys know that like somewhere in China, I think it is, I've seen videos of it where it's th these like spires, giant spires in a canyon covered in, in like uh, trees and forestry. Uh, it, it, it's like stuff like this and that that just jaw drop blows my mind that I really would love to see. Look out for the Seven Sisters of Sutor Waterfalls, so named because legend says he's trying to court the sisters. Also, look for Bridal Veil. When the light is right, it looks like a thin veil covering the rocks. Number five, five. Barcelona. Founded Barcelona? by the Romans, Barcelona today is a bustling city on the Mediterranean oh, Sea. Muchishamos. As the capital of Catalonia, it is a powerhouse in the region. It is perhaps oh, best muchishamos. known for the unusual buildings designed by the architect Antoni Gaudi. These landmark structures include La Sagrada Familia, a church that's been under construction since 1892. You could build your entire visit around his buildings, but then you'd miss out on the other Barcelona delights, such as La Rambla, a popular pedestrian street in the central part Reminds of the city. Reminds me of those drip sandcastles. a very colorful city. Love it. Oh, Barcelona is on the... It's Madrid that's not on the coast, right? Madrid's Number the capital. Number four, Dubrovnik. As European cities go, Dubrovnik isn't very big, but Where don't let this? its size deter you. This little jewel with less than 43,000 people is one of the most visited cities on the Mediterranean. Dubrovnik Whoa. transports visitors back to a time when the fortified city was a major maritime power, commanding Croatia? the third largest navy in the Mediterranean. As you wander the streets, you'll likely come across sculptures of St. Viajo, the city's patron saint whose life is celebrated every February. Croatia seems beautiful, which I don't... Croatia seems to be like the most underrated looking country that I've seen in videos. I've never been there. But I just, I don't usually think of Croatia when I think of the Mediterranean or beautiful countries in Europe. And it's on like every one of these beautiful Europe videos. So clearly they have a, a lot of beautiful stuff to offer. Number three, Santorini. When it's time to sit back and relax, take yourself to Santorini, an island in the Aegean. So cool, is that snow? 
Snow cover mountains next so close to water. Sit back and relax. Take yourself to Santorini, an island in the Aegean. Greece? Top travel magazines consider this a prime destination. Once there, you can't help but agree. The island has picture postcard villages, an active volcano, this is iconic. and stunning sunsets. Be sure to visit Fira, a village perched atop a cliff. You'll also want to sample wines, such as the dessert wine Vincento, as well as the produce that is made sweeter and tastier because of the volcanic ash soil it grows in. Is this Greece or Italy? Greece, right? Number two, Howdy. Paris. Songs of Paris, Paris in the springtime. I've been, I've been twice. Um, it's been a while since both trips, but um, just walking down the streets of Paris, I love it. There's the, I have no words. It, it's just good. It's just great. I don't have the vocabulary right now. Um, I love all the how the streets span out like from a, a bicycle spoke. Um. And just the gorgeous buildings on either side. It, I don't know. It's just, it was, two, it was amazing. Paris. Songs laud Paris in the springtime, but any time of year is a good time to visit be this riveting one. city on the River Seine. Bruges, Belgium, It's a city Brussels. loaded to the brim with history, culture, great food, and high fashion. The iconic Eiffel Tower is one landmark you won't want to miss. The Louvre houses one of the greatest art collections in the world. Its great churches include Sacred Heart the and Louvre. Notre Dame. I've been... You don't go to the top. I think we went to this level. You can go like up to here on staircases, but then I think y you got to go on an elevator to reach that. World, its great churches include Sacred Heart and Notre Dame. When it comes to opulence, there is Versailles with its famed Hall of Mirrors. Arc de Triomphe. What's gonna be number one? Warsaw, Krakow, Athens, Rome. Did they, no, did they do Rome? Edinburgh. No, oh, it's gotta be Bruges. Number one. Oh, Rome. Rome. The ancient Romans established outposts as far away as Great Britain. Never been. They didn't ignore to. their home city, however, when it came to building. Yeah, I was, I've always been so confused whenever I saw stuff because uh, pictures of here, because it's like, how, how did gladiators fight in this maze? But this is like the underneath stage area where like they'd send lions up or other stuff. Uh, and and, and it, this is the area. So yeah, Great makes monuments. sense. One must-see landmark is the Colosseum, an arena that could hold up to 80,000 people for gladiator contests. One of the biggest draws is a tiny country inside the city, the Vatican, Vatican City, with its impressive St. Peter's Basilica, with art provided by Michelangelo. Maybe you'll get a glimpse of the Pope at his Wednesday audiences. Wow, so the Vatican isn't just inside Italy, it's inside Rome? Completely inside Rome? What is that? Like architecture is crazy from churches. That was beautiful, guys. Uh, this is kind of my wake up video here, so I'm sorry if I was a little slow in the beginning. I'm definitely ready now. Awesome video. I love seeing anyone's comments, especially on these videos, whether you live there or not, or disagree, agree with the list. Um, love y'all. I hope you're all doing well. Would love if you liked and subscribed, and hopefully, I'll see you next video. Bye, guys.